leader of the opposition, uh, Mark Golden. Please, <laughs> sir. Yes. Come and join Welcome. us, sir. Greetings, Greetings. Greetings, Greetings, Greetings sir. Blessings. Good Blessings. morning. Welcome, Hi, sir, to the set. Hey, uh, lovely to see you. Sir? Yes. Uh, what do you think of what Jada has said? I think we need Jada in the education <laughs> system to help re-engineer it. Yes. You know? yeah. But she's absolutely right because the traditional approach, um, which is decades old, you know, tends to put people in a bit of a silo towards their co traditional careers. And many people have other interests, other passions, and the education system doesn't really sufficiently cater mm -hmm. for that. So the experience of education for them is not a wholesome one, not an enriching one. Mm -hmm. So, of course, it would require a lot of input. Um, at the teacher training level as well as to how exactly you could explore those pathways. Mm -hmm. But I think countries which do that tend to have better educational outcomes. And countries that make learning a much more fun experience do very well. You know, mm -hmm. Finland is an example, yes. for example. They, they have perhaps one of the most successful education systems in the world. It's very un unregimented, it's very flexible, yes. and students are really encouraged to explore their own, you know, development in whatever path or way they feel comfortable and it's working for them. So we need to, I think, be um, a bit more empowering of our students yes. by affording them those opportunities. Mm. But I love how Jada put it. She, she just yeah. made it so articulate. Like, mm -hmm. okay, one. And, and also, uh, sir, in terms of uh, the parents, because education mm -hmm. is a partnership between parent, teacher, and student. Yeah. So even though the education system may accommodate certain things, there are some parents who are like, eh, eh. No, mm -hmm. going, you're going there. Yeah. Yeah. How accommodating should parents be of their children's um, abilities? Well, they should be encouraged to be very accommodating because the fact that you as a parent don't really have an appreciation for something doesn't necessarily mean that it's not worthy. Right. You know, some of, our, some of us are very limited in our imagination and our scope. And our children may be flourishing in ways that we didn't really understand or anticipate. Yes. Or, so, or, so, they're, yeah. or they're demonstrating excellence in things that... We're just, we're, our minds were just never open to uh, uh, that too. Yeah. Exactly. So I think we need to encourage our parents to allow our children to, you know, exhale, to breathe, to yes. be themselves and explore their areas of passion, their areas of talent. You know, otherwise they're going to have children who feel stultified, who feel that they haven't really been afforded that opportunity to express themselves. And that's not a wholesome way of developing a child. Well, Jada has spoken, and Honorable Mark Golden has spoken, and let me tell you, Jada mother, Jada mother, I'm going to need you in my life, miss. I'm going to, I'm going to, if I have to be a neighbor, I'll move. You understand? I'll move. Don't worry about it. But your daughter is just absolutely on, amazing. Have your child sit outside of Jada. Yeah, up, you understand? Up, you understand? As a God sister. So you understand? The baby, Jada. God sister, right? No, I absolutely love this. Mm. And what I, I love about it as well is the fact that we are celebrating being bright. You know what I mean? Right. So often, people, our children in Jamaica are made to feel like if you're bright, you need to dumb yourself down mm. you need to hide yeah, because not. i don't keep mm. and you're too enough and i like that jada is so articulate so playful yeah. enjoying her childhood enjoying being a teenager but still focusing still Definitely. striving and thriving yeah. and it it augurs well for our young people too to know that you know what i can be a jada too mm -hmm. i yeah. have what it takes and, and it's that's cool why it's important to well, highlight her and yeah. celebrate her yes. jada yeah. definitely has an intellectual maturity yes. beyond her years yes. yes for somebody who's 14 she's reasoning like an adult already yeah. Yeah. so i'm sure she'll be able to cope with university very easily so and I, awesome. congratulations and i hope that you are able to you know, achieve your dreams of studying abroad ultimately and then coming back to help build the Jamaica we all want to see. Absolutely. Okay. Lovely. Absolutely. Me and Jada Mori is yeah. cousin from long time. <laughs> my second cousin. Yeah. Right. I should have said my but you know, I'm just letting her know now. Yes, <laughs> well, that Thank you, Jada, and all the best. Yes. Our guest uh, is 14-year-old scholar Jada Wright. Yeah. And of course, we're going to hear more from the opposition leader, Mark Golding, in another capacity, albeit, but a very important